And joining us now exclusively to discuss the partnership, AMD Chair and CEO Lisa Su. Lisa, I, I know I, I'm tired of congratulating you. I mean, it's getting ridiculous at this point, but I'll do it again. Congratulations to Lisa Su. Good morning, Jim. Good morning, David. Good morning, Carl. Great to be here with you guys this morning. Well, let's talk about this deal. Uh, this sounds like something that I would never expect from the government. It, it is almost like TVA. Uh, it's the government saying, listen, we can't wait. We have to do this, and we have to do it now. And it sounds like we have to do it now because you're able to deliver something, what, next, next year? Is it really can be do that, done that fast? Absolutely, Jim. So we were super excited to announce a new partnership with the Department of Energy. Secretary Wright has been uh, really leading this um, you know, with such an ambitious vision of what we want to do in AI for this country. So we announced uh, two new supercomputers that use our latest generation AI technology. And the key is, you know, the focus from Secretary Wright was let's do this as fast as possible. We have so many researchers in the nation that want more computing. And so, yes, we're going to develop two supercomputers. Uh, one of them will be deployed um, early next year, and then the other one uh, will be deployed with our next generation uh, MI400 series. So fantastic uh, partnership, and I'm really excited to be able to contribute to this really important mission. Uh, I don't mean to belittle it, but I got to talk a little horse race. You know, I think the MI400 is in some ways equal to NVIDIA. I want to know whether this was a contest and you got this and NVIDIA did not. Well, as you know, Jim, I mean, th th this is a place where um, you know, the national labs are you know, truly a national treasure for the United States. Um, Oak Ridge National Labs has been a great partner for AMD. And you can imagine everybody would want their compute in the national lab. So MI400 series um, is fantastic. We've been working um, across the board, across all industries, um, all of the national labs, all the sovereign countries. And I'm super excited to be able to deploy both our current generation um, MI350 and our next generation MI430 uh, um, at uh, the Oak Ridge National Labs through these two supercomputers. Absolutely. What caught my eye in the AMD release is that this is not just for traditional supercomputing for tech. This energy, medicine, health, national security, this to me sounds like a, a government initiative to stay ahead of everybody else in the world in all of these verticals, not just traditional data center compute. Can you tell us how, uh, if I were, say, Thermo Fisher, or if I were Eli Lilly, I would be able to get into this and say, I want some of that compute power? You know, absolutely right, Jim. This is actually a non-traditional uh, partnership between uh, the government and industry. What we thought to do was, number one, we want to get as much compute as possible, as quickly as possible to the national labs. And they're going to do all kinds of research in medicine and energy and national security, which is uh, wonderful. But we also said, you know, there are industries that would, uh, private industries that would like access to some of this compute as well. So the Eli Lilly's of the world, the Fishers, all of these folks would also be able to participate uh, as we bring up these clusters. And it is a very unique partnership. Um, I would say, um, you know, Secretary Wright said it best, this is the first time that he's announcing something where, you know, the very first time I met Secretary Wright, he said, hey, bring me ideas, Lisa. Bring me ideas that get us more AI in the government faster. And I have to say, um, he was very open. We love the partnership with Oak Ridge National Labs. Our engineers and scientists are, are really, really excited about contributing um, at the national scale for our, our U.S. AI efforts. Uh, the other big story, Lisa, that uh, made news regarding you guys in recent days was IBM uh, saying about four days ago that one of their key quantum algos run on chips from you that are pretty commonly available, and it's raised a lot of questions about the, the possibility of commercializing those powerful computers. Well, we are also very excited about the partnership with IBM. And in, in general, when you think about quantum computing, you know, people were thinking that quantum is, you know, it's going to take years to develop. And when you really think about it, you know, we're not in a place where we can wait years for these developments. We want these developments, you know, really making a difference now. Uh, you know, IBM um, and AMD announced this quantum computing partnership. Our researchers have been working together. And the key is we're going to take the best of classical compute or traditional compute, which is what uh, you know, we've spent um, all of this research and development on, and the best of IBM's quantum computing, and really putting them side by side in applications. So thinking about 
you know, how we solve the biggest material science problems, um, how we think about, you know, some of the biggest energy problems. And this is an area where, you know, again, when I think about the work that we're going to do with DOE, I think it's going to continue, it's going to be across all of these fields, including how do we get quantum, uh, you know, used in these new workloads as, as soon as possible. So this is kind of the world that we're in with compute today. It's all about speed and how do we get the most compute on the most important challenges as soon as possible. Lisa, it's David. You know, just sort of more broadly speaking here, it's not as though uh, other companies aren't developing plenty of chips as well, whether it's Amazon with the Tranium or Google and the TPUs and Meta. I'm just sort of curious from your perspective in terms of especially the inference market, but over time here, you know, does the addressable market for AMD start to shrink as a result of all these potential competitors? You know, David, um, actually it's exactly the opposite. I think what we're seeing is that the addressable market for AI and inference is actually increasing. Uh, we're seeing an acceleration of the use of AI, because as models get better, as enterprises are thinking about you know, how they can deploy these models, uh, there's a lot more compute that's necessary, and we're seeing that across the board uh, with the CapEx spending, as well as what, in our direct conversations with customers. And you know, David, I think the most important thing for people to recognize is a big market is good for all of us. Uh, that has been our mantra, is to develop technology that can go across all of these verticals. And I love seeing our technology in the national labs, and also also across all of these enterprises and the cloud.